only just David. Did you like Rachel Yucatel last week on the podcast? Do you want her back? Well, we're alone today, guys. You know why? I mean, first of all, we could have Rachel every week if that's what everybody wants. But you know what? We have business to get to today. We have actual business. You know, everybody wants me to react to the RHONJ trailer. You know what I did? I watched it and I went line by line, item by item. And I have a lot to say. Marge the Sarge declares Jackie Judas Goldschneider. But listen, I don't think we're going to talk about that here today. We will. We will talk about this. But we have to get into this Beverly Hills reunion. Part three. I mean, overall, what are my thoughts? Here are my overarching thoughts before we break down all the details that we are about to break down. First off, I feel, did we really, well, I have three overarching thoughts. How's that? A, did we really learn anything at all from this reunion? Is there anything that we learned that we did not already know? I don't really think so. B, I mean, is it just me? Like, let's just step back. And I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be witty. I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I'm not trying to entertain everyone and anyone. But like, if we just want to step away from part three of this reunion, I mean, am I in the twilight zone or am I the only one who can honestly say, I truly feel in my heart of hearts, we are watching Kyle Richards, who we have known for 13 seasons, come out. I mean, I know that might sound basic, but it's not. Listen, the coming out process is a process for all of us. We all go through it differently. We all go through it. I was no fucking spring chicken. I was like 24, which I mean, now kids come out at like 10. So no shade, but I really, truly, if we step away from what we just witnessed, I think Kyle is coming out before our very eyes. And that's a beautiful thing. If that is your truth, live it, girl. Live it. Um, Let's rewind. You know how like when a new season starts and they show that final scene, Kathy and Lisa in the Sprinter van. And then we flash back. What led us to Aspen? Let's flash back. So we're waiting for Kathy to appear. And, you know... Oh, right. We're waiting for Kathy to appear. And Sutton and Kyle have this moment. They get up. They hug. And... You know what I found very interesting about this reunion, too? Besides, I think that we're just, unless I'm in the Twilight Zone, why is no one, like, really, we're watching Kyle come out? I think we're also watching Dorit see her future on RHBOH slip away before her very eyes. Right? I mean, I thought the camera angles and the focus and the eye movements, the way they edited Dorit, because, I mean, that's what they're doing. This is all editing. They can include some stuff and not other stuff. The way they edited Dorit, to me, I really think, I mean, I've said this before. <clears throat> this girl has nine lives, just like that Gorga over there in Jersey. But I don't know. We're not doing any 100% and Melissa Gorga is 100% not coming back. But I think Dorit, I don't know. I don't know about this one, you guys. I mean, we're filming right away, so it would it's such a highly rated franchise. Let's save who's coming back and not to later in this discussion, but I just got the, like, are we watching Dorit's future slip away before her very eyes, and does she feel that? Because I just thought the camera angles, like, when Sutton gets up and hugs Kyle, and Dorit is just like, she doesn't seem to be having it. I mean, now, in real life, Kyle and Sutton have gone to dinner recently, They've gone to dinner recently, and uh, Sutton has not gone to dinner with Dorit. So we have to make up with Kyle because she is the show, as is Sutton. I think Dorit is just there and forgotten. 
Sutton doesn't seem to be making up with her, but I just felt it was weird. I feel like when they hugged, Dorit was not having it, darlings. We bring out Kathy Hilton, and you guys can love her. You guys can hate her. I just feel, I mean, Kathy is so above this show. I, I mean, Erica's sitting there like, Jesus Christ, why are you sitting her next to me? You know, they showed this package, you know, Sutton saying you already lost two sisters and this. And so let's get into this whole, I mean, I've said this before. I mean, Kathy thinks it's funny. I said last season, all season, when Kathy was going against Rinna, yeah, I agree with Erica's statement that the women on this couch fear Kathy. She can lock you out of parties. Kathy is Beverly Hills. I agree with all of that. I've said before, the two people I would be scared of are Chris Jenner and Kathy Hilton. I stand by that. I'm not correcting it. You know, also, I just want to go back to like, I find it very strange that Erica Jane is with her publicist, Jack. Lisa Rinna is with her publicist, Jill. Erica's publicist, Jack, also represents Nikki. So it's Erica and Nikki over here with Jack. Lisa Rinna's publicist also represents Harris Helton. So imagine this publicist, her name is Jill Fritzo. She has Rinna and she has Paris. Okay. For years, Rinna and Paris. Jack over here for years. He also has Kristen Cavalieri and some other people, but Jack over here has Nikki Helton and Erica Jane. Okay. And after last season in Aspen, the same day, the same day here in Hollywood, in Beverly Hills, Jack and Erica part ways. So Jack still has Nikki, but he no longer has Erica. And that same exact day, Jill Fritzo and Lisa Rinna part ways. So Jill still has Paris. So Jack is with Nikki and is no longer with Erica. And the same exact day, Jill Fritzo is still with Paris and is no longer with Lisa Rinna. Do I think that's a coincidence? Fucking no, I do not. After the Beverly Hills reunion, I'm losing my voice, guys. After the Beverly Hills reunion, I was out last night. Anna Kinkoses, uh from Miami is here in Hollywood, Beverly Hills, uh, California. And we went to Dan Tana's with two friends of mine, believe it or not, who I've known for like 20 years. Anna and I had plans and I'm like, listen, girl, you're getting two other gay boys. So we went to Dantana's. Shout out to Anakin Kosase from Miami RHOM. And that is why I have no voice. I only had two martinis. I only had two martinis. But I'm old as fuck. And apparently two drinks just does it to me. But 